Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a football banner just like the one behind me. I made it just out of burlap and then this gray right here is just Sharpie and this I used um, red thread. So that's how I'm going to show you how to make it and then I used some twine. So you're just going to need those few things and then some stuffing to put in the middle of it. I just used um, paper. Um, you could use actual stuffing or you could use pretty much whatever you have around your house. So let's make something fun and festive for your house for football season. Let's get started. So the first thing that I did was I made a pattern of the size and shape that I wanted the football to be. And I put it against the wall that the banner is going to lay on so that I could get a better look at what it would look like with 10 of this size of football up there. And this is the size that I decided on that would work. Um, it's about a little bit bigger than my hand. So wherever you're putting it in your house, you're gonna to wanna to decide where it will look best and how big it should be. So just make sure you cater that to what you're doing. And then of course, I just cut out 20 of these shapes out of the burlap. Once I have all my shapes cut out, I'm next gonna draw on them with Sharpie to make it look like a football. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the sides. Um, most footballs have a white stripe on either side of them going around the ball. So I'm just going to curve it a little bit so that way it gives it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm just going to fill it in. And I am just freehanding this. If you want to do it a little more exact, um, feel free to do another pattern and make sure it's the same on every single one. But I figured freehanding, I like the way it will look doing it that way. So I'm just going to do that on that side. And then I'm going to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Now I'm going to do the center of the football, which has seven stitches going across. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a long line. And then I'm going to draw seven lines going vertical. And I'm not going to go to the very end of my horizontal line. I'm going to leave those sticking out. And then I'm going to go back in and fill it in and make sure it actually looks like I have seven stitches on the football. So I'm going to do that for all ten of my footballs. Once I've drawn on all the footballs, I'm then ready to stitch them together. So I'm just going to put my two pieces together, and that would technically be wrong sides together. Um, I can't really tell on my burlap. And I have my needle threaded, and on mine I have four threads so that it makes a really distinct stitch. Um, you can do as many as you would like. Um, you could do just one, but I feel like at least two will hold up really nicely. So do at least two and or more. And then I'm just gonna go through the back and put a stitch. And if you'll notice, if you run your stitch through, it'll come all the way through because it's burlap. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip mine to the wrong side that won't be seen. And I'm actually going to just glue that down. And this will make it so it holds up a lot better than if I just tried to tie a bunch of knots in my thread. After I've waited for that to cool a little bit, I'm going to start stitching. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick the direction I want it to go in and just start pulling the thread through. And I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to leave a little opening so that we can put the stuffing in. Now when I run out of thread and when I'm ready to put the stuffing in, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put another dab of hot glue on my end so that way I don't even have to tie a knot. It just finishes it off for us so then I can just cut my threads and let that sit for a minute while I get the stuffing ready. 
For my stuffing, I'm just using some crinkled up um, packaging paper and I'm just going to stuff it in this opening that we left. So I'm going to crinkle it up a little more, but not like keep it tight. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. And I'm just going to start stuffing it in the hole. The other one. I'm just going to do the exact same thing um, for the stitching to finish it off along this edge. Now I'm done with one of my footballs. So I'm just gonna do this for all of the footballs that I want to put on my banner. Once you're done making all of your burlap footballs, next we're going to put them together with our twine. And this will make it so that they are more pliable so that they can hang nicer on your wall. If you just glued them together, it would be really stiff. Um, you can try it if you would like, depending on where you're putting them. But I'm just going to piece mine together with the twine. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to be using my hot glue gun. Um, it's pretty much like what we did with the string. And I'm just going to decide the distance I want between each football. And I'm just going to glue the two ends of my twine down. So I'll do, I'll put a glob of hot glue on one end of my football. And put my twine on there. Make sure it gets in the hot glue well. And then I'll decide the distance and do the same on this one. And I'll do that all the way across with every football. Once you're done hot gluing the twine to all of your footballs and then to the ends, you are done. I just hung it over our TV um, in the main living room. And it'll just be a nice centerpiece for football season. So I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I hope you guys are as well. Stay tuned for more sewing tutorials and make sure to subscribe and comment below. See you next time. Bye!